everybody and welcome back to another episode of prison architect as you can see this block is getting there the canteen nearly there but since we are nearly getting there oh, I really want to get it all built first so we can label bits and pieces is what we want to oh this one's still not getting any hot water oh it's because it's not linked up there there you go link that up as well and then that radiator will have hot water let's check the temperature of this area temperature yeah it's looking good it's looking all right anyway as well as a room we'll make this into a storage room then hopefully some of this concrete will get moved uh, where's storage there it is there we go hopefully some concrete will get moved Right, so we made some more money now, so we can finish off, hopefully, our canteen. Yeah, it's looking like we can. Right, so that's the canteen finished. We'll do those two rooms later on, but we will put doors on them. There we go. Right, our next step is going to be getting all of these rooms cloned so we'll start off with this dormitory here so we'll go like that and like that and now we're basically out of money again but that's okay we are only accepting minimum security so we could just you know, make these rooms and deploy it all later, I suppose. So, rooms, dormitories. There we go. There we go. There. There. And up here we have two new cells. Which, you know, can't really be used yet because they're full of concrete. But it's okay. Now we have 12 prisoners arriving and that gives us a bit more money so we'll be able to expand down here a little bit more which is great get some more of these dormitories in so everyone seems quite happy where is our maximum security lady? She is still in solitary as she murdered someone in the last episode. So she has another six hours left of solitary. I think we'll up that for another 24. Yep. That's what you get. Well, it's what you get. You can still shower, you can sleep and everything in that place. So you're fine. So, that's all good. We've got some more prisoners in the prison now and our next step i think is going to be adding some more cookers to the kitchen we'll just do it like this i think there we go i will add i don't know another line of fridges by the door oh can't afford any more fridges oh no i wanted to spend the money <laughs> on rooms but it's okay we only really need to get 10 more prisoners and then this place is up to 100 and that will get us the style block C grant which is great so how, how are you doing? you're only in here for 14 hours you have another 25 hours left of your sentence in solitary as you know, once you murder someone you, you're going to have a long time in solitary so she is having a long time in solitary. So, since it is now work and free time, we have some prisoners over here relaxing on their concrete beds. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. This area should get laundry probably from this place, I think. Which is fine. Okay, okay, we're getting some clothing into this area now. Oh, we nearly have. 10 prisoners passing the foundation course, which is great. We've nearly got there. 
So that does mean that the library is functioning now, which is great. And then hopefully literacy needs is being met quite nicely. Oh, look, everyone is eating their food. Which is great. Cutting it down to two meals a day seems to be helping quite nicely. Oh, what's this? I've just received words of... Fine. That's fine. Do you know what we do when we get this one? We just put it all down. Right. In the morning, they can have... Lockdown. Lockdown. And then a little bit of free time for yard. And then we'll have lockdown. And then some yard time. <laughs> if they want to not work, they can be locked up in their cells. Oh, they can work two hours a day, can't they? Well, okay. They can have work here. There we go. Um, so that means there would be no classes or anything. Reschedule. Yeah. See, we can have no classes now, really. But that one, then we still have a few. We could probably get another lot of that in as well. There we go. Get some more people treated for drug addiction. So, we still, we don't have enough money right now. We're not having any prisoners tomorrow, which is a shame. Our dormitories are also full down here, but not the nice ones. I suppose that's because they don't have... Right, so it's shower time now. No prisoners tomorrow. Well, today. But hopefully we'll get some tomorrow. So everyone is now having free time before breakfast. Some people go back to sleep. Well, there'll be plenty of time for you guys to sleep now. With your tiny little work schedule. Which probably means we're going to have laundry problems. But that's okay. So, how is this going on? Oh look, we're getting a lot better with this. I'd like to get it down to 10%. So, out of our parole early, only 2% have re-offended, which is alright. And out of 94 prisoners, we're doing okay to have a 22%. Health is getting better, which is great. That's probably because of food. We can also now put in the weight benches again, so some people can work out they want to. And then we'll just do it the other way. We'll buy a few more, I guess. Oh no, we can't buy any more. We've got no money. But we're making money again. We must have got to a point now where this is helping us out. And so it's exports. Well, exports won't be helping us out much anymore since nobody is going to be working. Okay, we still seem to be having water problems for that radiator. I see why. It's not actually connected. We'll just have to wait to get some money. I will connect that up quite nicely. So the library needs finishing and we need to put in an actual common room up here. But it's all seeming quite happy. Uh, kitchen needs at least one more fridge I think. Since we seem to have one extra item for the fridge. But lots of mail for the mail room. I don't think our mail room is quite big enough. We might be able to get another table in there. Yeah, we could, if we could afford it. Basically, we're just waiting for money right now. Again, we should have also done that, so we could have got that grant. Oh, we've had a death. Really? You're being punished. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh, one of our own guards died. She stole his gun and... 
Right, so she's healed, but I don't want her in that cell, please. Okay, well... Well, that didn't go very well, did it? So, she is in solitary for at least 60 more hours. But hey, that's what you get. When we do a max deck solitary wing, there'll be slightly nicer cells again. Just so the needs don't go all the way down when they have a bad incident like that. You know, we may put in something so that you can exercise. And that might be it. <laughs> Right. Okay then. Oh dear. Right. So. We should also check to see. Oh, we have no informants. But we have someone here who is ready for protective in the morning. Oh, she's going now, it's fine. Do we have anybody else for protective custody? Doesn't look like it. But now we have two mystery people. So we probably could do with finding ourselves another informant or two. Hopefully when we get this area up and running, it'll be great. So we have one maximum. Basically, she is just permanently going to be living up there, I think, at the minute. <laughs> Until... Right, why? Have you got yourself stuck? Suck. Okay. No, you don't want that ban there, do we? And let's get a new... Uh, we can't afford a new guard yet. What we really need is some more prisoners. Let's see, if we turn this area into Minsack, what happens? Deployment, that's what we want. There we go. Right. Does that help out at all? Does that mean we get some more prisoners? No. Yes. Okay. I think it's because our dormitories are too good. We just need to make some more of these sounds, I think. Hopefully, we'll get some money. I suppose we could take a loan. Finance. Did I not? Have I not unlocked loans? I must have unlocked them. No, I have. How do we take out a loan then? I've never done that really. Evaluation. I don't want to sell a prison. Um. Do to do. Grants. Ah, here it is. Increase. Okay, so that's the repairs in. Okay, so we've taken the best loan we can. And I may be able to get one or two cells in for that money. Okay, we've got two cells in. And this solitary cell has been repaired. There we go. So your solitary cell is now repaired. <laughs> I know you need clothing, but you're in solitary, so you don't get it. Apparently, you thought they would still get clothing. There we go. So, hopefully with another two cells, we'll be alright. Now, this is probably mess with the deployment of the area. Oh, no. Doesn't seem to have. 
maybe they fixed that. Hey, anyway, today we will do a shakedown at the end of the day, I think. Just to make sure that there's no no prisoners trying to escape or any of that. But also, I can't quite afford another guard yet. So now we're in sleep, we shall do a shakedown. Especially want to make sure that her up here has nothing dangerous. Though she shouldn't have at this stage. And I don't know how she'd have got it. Right, this tunnel needs removing. Is that some more tunnels being found? I don't know. Looks like we're going to be having quite a few people in solitary today. Yep. Already got a few people going to solitary. Which is great. Our family cells also look like they seem to be quite happy. The whole prison seems to be alright at the minute. Up here, not so good, but hey, it's a lot of mess from whatever like why ever they felt they needed that much concrete. Up there. Right. So let's get rid of the shape down now. Okay. So we'll also now check for any informants that we can have. You. Yes. You can be an informant. You can be an informant. 11% each of them. Any more potential informants? Doesn't look like it. Oh, that's fine. So, lots of people are still in solitary. We'll probably check it over in a minute because once they've all get moved over there, they'll be fine. See, they can still shower and use the loo and sleep in these ones, which is great. They have their basic needs met in these cells, apart from clothing. Right, let us do another quick check of informants. Oh look, we can have a few more. Recruit informant. You will recruit your informant too, and up here. You can also be an informant. Let's recruit you too. She's been here for 40 days. She has nearly finished her sentence as well. Grading. Um, okay. Unfortunately, yeah, she's having too much drug issues with her. Anyway, let us give us this a go. Let's activate them. And see if we can find out who our question mark, our two question marks are. At this point. Okay, so we have a snitch, who is an informant. Oh, and an ex-law enforcement here. Okay. There we go, you are now going to be in protective. And as are you. Alexander. So you are no longer going to be an informant. There we go. So let's deactivate everybody. And let's get going. So now the whole prison should be pretty safe. And as we're making money again, it's all good. We can rehire our lost guard. But not our lost arm guard yet. Which is fine. Right, why does this still not have one? Oh yeah. I remember. I couldn't afford to do it. Okay. So shortly we'll have enough money for some more cells and everything. Which is all good. So, logistics. Room quality. So those are three. I'm surprised we don't have any prisoners who are able to go for a three. See? 
there's a few people who are able to have those kind of rooms. Hmm. I don't know then. Why don't... Okay. Oh, it looks like some prisoners have moved into those cells. That's all good then. We probably will do like a luxury. Awesome. We can put work back hours back to how they were. Regime. Work. And then we will. Oh no, that free time was meant to be there. And then we'll work, 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 and work. Oh yeah, that seems like a nice a nice day for them. So that's us reschedule all the programs and we'll put back in the foundation and the general education oh, and we'll get some behavioural therapy going as well oh, that will probably help out a little bit can we also get one of them in? yes we get two of them and two of them there we go so, we'll also get another one of that, I think. Maybe another. And two of them. Okay, reschedule. So now we've got a few people interested in a few things, which is also awesome. And we also have a bit of money, so let us get some more cells in quickly. There we go. And there, that's all the cells we can we can buy today but it does mean that we'll have a few more prisoners able to arrive tomorrow yeah but they'll probably end up in these dorms until they've been here for long enough to be happy enough to go into all the other cells how is our maximum security lady doing? we'll see if she is ready to integrate with the rest of the prison she probably is not movie my guess oh, this seems all quite happy yeah. so we have a few more cells gone up so we're having five prisoners arriving tomorrow which is awesome it really is a shame just about all of this concrete. Oops, some more drugs. Drugs are being found in the prison. I think a lot of them were new prisoners. Trying to sneak stuff in. Doesn't work in my prison. Now. The other thing we could do we're getting when we have some money is some metal detectors. I think we'll get some there. Because then this goes into quite a lot of the main part of the prism. We might get some on each of the cell blocks as well. Just you know to prevent metal sneaking past things. Anyway, this is it for this episode of Prison Architect. We're just waiting for money to be able to fill up this cell block really right now. Anyway, I will see you next time. Please like if you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.